What's going on you guys? Simpsons Man here and we are going to be doing an unboxing from my Simpsons haul that I just got the other day. I've been posting pictures on my Instagram. I have been showing you guys pretty much every single day once I get a new item, but I wanted to go ahead and show you in detail and kind of like a little review of everything I got. So stick around. All right, so we are going to dive right on into this. We're going to do this merch first. We're gonna be doing the t-shirt and we're gonna be doing the fanny pack. And then we'll leave the shoes for last just because those are the big ticket items. Everyone really loves the shoes and yeah. So first we have this Lisa Simpson for President t-shirt. Go ahead and show you guys this t-shirt. Definitely really nice. The quality of these t-shirts are actually really, really nice. I'm not sure, it doesn't really say on the tag. All it says is made in Guatemala. It has the Simpsons and the Vans logo and Matt Groening on there as well. And you can see from the back, it does have the Simpsons logo on there and the Vans logo on there. So as you can see, Lisa Simpson for president. Shirt is very, very nice and um, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Next, we are going to be looking at the fanny pack. I'm not sure what else they're called. Uh, I know there's some slang terms for it and a couple terms they use overseas for these, but um, over here in the States, we just call them a fanny pack. But it does have the Lisa Simpson for President logo on the front. And I don't think it really has anything else on there. It does have the Simpsons and Vans logos on the side and that's it. You got the zipper in the front and you got the zipper in the back. Clip it on, put it around your waist. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can put this guy on my waist without, yeah, perfect. Click it on in. And yeah, I, don't, I mean, I could wear this. I could put my things in here. Maybe I could put this t-shirt in here. <laughs> there we go, there we go. So there, now I can bring my t-shirt everywhere I go just in case, but that's definitely not going to happen, but. Go ahead and take it out so it doesn't get all wrinkly. But yeah, we got Lisa Simpson for President merch. I love it. Um, I wanted to get more merchandise, but unfortunately, the drop kind of happened at a bad time. Uh, I'm not working at the moment right now, and because of COVID and just everything that's going on, yeah, like just money is not happening as much as I'd like it to be. So I was only limited to getting a few things, but I was able to get a few things, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But all right, let's just dive right on into it. We got shoes, we got shoes, and we got shoes. So first of all, these boxes, like these boxes are amazing. Like, I, I don't even, I can't even, like whenever I saw, initially when I saw online this box, I was just in awe because I've made custom boxes before uh, for like Bone Storm. Uh, I've made custom boxes for Simp Crates and everything, but these just like, Blew, just blew me away and like I said I was not even aware that they were going to do this but I'm gonna kind of show you just little by little the box and everyone's kind of seen the boxes by now in detail this was actually pretty funny the initial release date on there I'm assuming that this was the original initial release date they were gonna do but since maybe because of COVID and everything they had to hold it back for I mean hell almost two months but yeah, the Simpsons house on there. Like, it's amazing. And just the sizes and everything on the back. And I was actually surprised, um, they still kept everything perfect on there for the boxes, all the different design and everything. And even for the baby shoes, like they all, like every single thing is on there, just perfect. So we're gonna get right on into it. Um, we're gonna do the baby shoes first. Uh, this one's for my daughter because, you know, why not? You know, growing up in this world, um, we need to teach our kids uh, The Simpsons, pretty much. You know, they're, it's an old show and most people do not know it. So I just wanna make sure that, you know, we just keep spreading the news about it and people keep knowing about it and she loves them. She absolutely loves The Simpsons and she loves these little shoes. So we have the Maggie shoe. It's just got Maggie heads all over the entire shoe. You can see the little waffle cone sole that they have. They have on the insides, they have the clouds. But yeah, these are amazing. Obviously the tags are still on there because she hasn't worn them yet. And 
I don't know. Like, I want to keep these. I don't know if, um, we'll see. Like, I mean, she's obviously going to wear them, but at the moment right now, like, they're just so nice to have. They got the little Velcro on there, just, you know, just for easy putting them on and then just click, click them right in. But yeah, these are, I mean, these are top notch. Uh, these, I mean, for Vans, like I've never in my entire life ever have bought, you know, a pair of shoes for anyone besides myself. And now just, you know, I'm getting them for the kiddos and everything else, like this is insane. But yeah, so we're gonna move right along. Also, a nice little touch they did is they have clouds. I mean, if you can kind of see on the thing, but yeah, you can kind of see, yeah, there you go. Just clouds all over it for the wrapping. That was actually a, a nice, just a small little touch they did that kind of tied everything in. So let me put these back in there. Who knows, you know, when they're gonna come back out. But yeah, so that's that one right there. We got the initial release date, like I said, June 5th. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that was due to COVID, but we can only assume that was because obviously these did not come out June 5th, but every single box I saw online, including the three I have right now, are that. So these are a size, let's see, size eight. So another kiddo shoe. And what's crazy about these size eights compared to my shoe that's a size 11 and a half is the weight difference. These are so much heavier than mine. And of course, you know, the kiddo shoe. But we're gonna go ahead and just get right on into it. And it's probably just because of the style of the shoe, I'm assuming, but we do have the itchy and scratchy one. This was pretty much like my second or third favorite shoe they had. Go ahead and open them up just a little bit so I can show you guys here. But yeah, we got the itchy and scratchy shoes. It says the itchy and scratchy show on the back. It does got the Vans logo on there. Really cool. Thing they have on the tongue, the Poochie, and they also have the Krusty brand seal of approval on the other side. Just little additions like this they added to the shoe was like amazing. And also, you know, obviously they have the cloud print, which is, the, I mean, this top notch the way they did that. They actually feel really comfortable. Obviously these aren't my size right here, size nine, so I won't be able to wear them to actually see. But yeah, I mean, these are amazing. Like put them on the shelf. I mean, I might just put them up here in the kitchen on the top because, I mean, they're nice and they'll never be worn. And like I said, what size are these? These were a size eight, which is nine and a half in women. So who knows when the kiddo grows up, should be going from these maybe to these one day, but only time will tell on that. So I'm just gonna put these back in. All right, so we got one shoe, we got the other shoe knocked out, and my shoes right here, which I'm still wondering if I'm gonna be wearing these or not. I get asked that probably daily. Hey, Simpsons man, are you gonna actually wear these? But I don't, I mean, I've worn them, but not anywhere out. Now, like I said, itchy and scratchy one versus this one. This one, the itchy and scratchy one is probably about a times and a half, not two times heavier, but close to it because these are not heavy at all. And I'm very glad they added these in there just to kind of keep the shape of the shoe because if not, you know, who knows? The box actually did come a little damaged. Luckily, not my Simpsons box too much. There's like a little bit of wear and tear on the corners, uh, but the actual shipping box itself, because we bought these from Journeys online, uh, it did come damaged. So, I mean, you know, they're not taking any chances at all. But these do have a comfy cush on them. These are, I think, and this is just from what I've heard online, This, these are the most comfortable pair they have just because of the comfy cush, comfy cush. And I'm not 100% sure if that's the case or not, but that's just what I've heard. But let's, you know, same thing. They got the comfy cush Simpsons logo and Vans logo and the clouds. But yeah, so this has, I wouldn't say all the characters, but it definitely has a ton of the Simpsons characters. And obviously repeats, you can see Bart there, Bart there, Bart there, Bart there, Bart there. Like it probably just has maybe like the same 20 to 30 characters just wrapped all around the shoe. But I really want to wear these out, but I, I don't know. It's kind of like my toys. Like I don't want to open the toys, but sometimes you kind of get that, like that feeling like, oh man, I really want to. And then you get a rush, but with these shoes, I want to keep these packaged up because 
We've waited, I think it's about 13 years since the last collab they did with Vans, The Simpsons. So I don't see them doing another collab anytime soon. Then again, this collab was so popular that they might do it. I'm not sure. But yeah, so these are amazing. Let me show you guys one more time. Just all the different characters. And there you go. There you have it. So, and put these up. Let me put these little, not sure what they're called, but they, you know, they do hold the, the shape of the shoe, which is amazing. These are kind of bent up. I just noticed that, that kind of sucks. I'm gonna see if I can bend it. Uh, it's all right. But let me put these back in. And that is going to be it for the video. I did also want to mention that Drift House actually sent me these shoes. And um, one second, let me grab this. All right, so Drift House actually sent me these shoes. They sent me an awesome sticker, awesome love note, and this amazing t-shirt. Show you guys the front pocket logo. And the back logo is just, it's just sick. I mean, look at it. But they're located in Cocoa Beach, Florida. If you're in that area, skate, surf shop, uh, please go support them. I know a lot of you guys, um, you weren't able to get certain things online, but you did mention to me that you were able to get it from their site online because Vans didn't have them or Journeys. So they're just restocked on all their items. So, you know, you can shop online or if you're in the area, Cocoa Beach, go there. But yeah, I just wanna say quick shout out to those guys because they were able to send me these shoes and like I said, the sticker and the t-shirt. So thank you so much, Jesse. That was um, that was too much that what you guys did, but you know it's really appreciated. But that's it, you guys. Um, wanted to show you guys my quote unquote haul. There's a few things I still wanna get and I'm still kind of going back and forth right now if I wanna do the whole credit card thing or not. But you know, I ordered those donut slip-ons and a couple days later, Van sent me an awesome email saying, hey, sorry that you ordered them, but we canceled them. So, you know, well, they canceled my order. They didn't cancel the actual donut slip-ons. So I missed out on those. I really wanted to get them. And then I went to eBay to go try and get them, but they're already up to like a hundred something dollars, which I'm not gonna pay that much, especially since they were only, I think they were $50 for the slip-ons, but you know, people are obviously trying to flip all these because they're rare, you know, these, this collab hasn't been done in over 10 years, 13, I think, to be exact. So people that, I mean, that have that mind frame, you know, it's, it's just the mind frame of everything reselling, you know, you buy something to resell it. But in my case, I'm buying these because I want to keep them. I'm a collector, obviously. I love the Simpsons and, you know, I just wanted to have these for my own personal collection. So I wanted to show you guys my, uh, my little small haul that I got here. So. That's all I wanted to do, guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Uh, if you did like the video, obviously like the video. And if you aren't a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, tell your friends about the channel. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting more traffic in the channel lately, which is awesome. And just remember, once I hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna have a huge YouTube giveaway. And on my Instagram channel right now, I am very, very close to 100,000 subscribers. So once I hit 100,000 on my Instagram, we're going to even have a that one's gonna be a really big giveaway because 100,000 for me is a huge milestone. I've been doing Instagram now for five, six years now. I've been grinding hard and posting every single day now for almost six years. And it's, um, yeah, we're almost there guys. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for checking out my haul video. And if you have any questions about any of these or anything else, vans or journeys or shoes or t-shirts or fanny pack related, uh, shoot me a DM or just leave it in the comment section below and I'll, you know, I'll do what I can to answer it. Uh, until next time, guys, uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. See ya.